what it wasn't being an artist is what I planned on. I'd like to be in, but it just wasn't going to work out. See. There's a group of uh, famous artists called the Cowboy Artists of America. Many of them called have been called the Sons of Charlie Russell, and I think Lynn fits right into that group um, of cowboys that wanted to be artists, and a lot of artists want to be cowboys. And uh, I think he does a wonderful job of continuing the legacy of Charles M. Russell and many other artists from Remington, Frank Tenney Johnson, um, Maynard Dixon. Uh, his art is as honest as he is personality. And I think art, his art is his personality in solid form. It's straightforward. It's something we can all relate to as Westerners. I think he's part of a kind of a dying breed. Those sort of folks I think we're attracted to because of his honesty, how humble he is. I just feel humble because they bought one, you know, they like it. And we just don't find that today in our modern world with all of the controversies and everybody would rather fight than, than be collectivists where we're all in this together. So Lynn is, is someone I admire greatly for his life. He's had a hard life. He's worked the ranches in Wyoming and Montana. And I've been there in the middle of the winter when it's 40 below. It's not fun, it's not romantic, it's just hard work, but, but he persevered and that's what his life is all about. Um, having challenges, meeting the challenges and moving forward, whether it's being a, a rancher or a ranch hand, a cowboy, or a, a great artist, and I appreciate his art very much.